So take a calculator. So let's go there. So we're going to learn how to convert the rectangular coordinate system to the cylindrical coordinate system using a calculator. So this is my calculator. So let's get going. So let's check no, question number one a. We are supposed to convert to uh, four root three comma four comma negative four in bracket to cylindrical coordinate. But we can do this using the calculator. Let's check how we can do it. So on your calculator, we have something called a P O L. So you go to shift, you press shift and go to plus. So this is the the uh, commander to change the rectangular coordinate system to cylindrical coordinate system. So what you know that with a uh, cylindrical coordinate system, we have R, theta, and Z. So here we are not going to include Z. So we are going to deal with only X and Y because Z is Z in cylindrical coordinate. So what you do now is that you're going to input the first one, which is two, uh, 4 root 3. Then you leave a space. Then you press what? Shift plus X, comma, right? And you put in 4. Then you close the bracket. Note this. With the cylindrical coordinate, Z is Z, right? But the one that varies was the R and the theta. So then when you are done, just press equal to. So with this, R is 8 and theta is 30. Theta can be expressed in pi. So you should note that. So you can express this in pi. So this is how we can convert the rectangular system to the cylindrical coordinate system. Let's try another one. Let's see this. Let's take question B. So we press shift plus plus, that is poly, then negative 5, then you press, let's um, shift and X. The comma is very important. When you don't bring the comma, it will not run. Then you close the parenthesis. Then you press equal to. That means that R is 7 points, approximately 7.1, and the theta value is, you shift here, it is 135 degree or centigrade, 135 centigrade. So, but know that with the cylindrical coordinate, Z is 6. So, with this, when you express it, you're going to express 7.1, then 135 centigrade, comma, and 6. Now, let's go to the changing the cylindrical coordinate to the rectangular coordinate. What you do now is that you go to your calculator, you press shift, and you go to, we have REC, rec. So, then, this one to apply for the same thing because Z is constant here. So, we are not going to include Z, but you're going to include the R and the angle. So let's get going. So we have, let's choose maybe, um, let's choose A. So we put in four, then make sure you space out or yeah, you bring a comma shift plus X, then you comma, then you bring this because pi is 180. So 180, then you come down and you press um 180 over uh, six, you press six. Then you move here, then you bring a comma, that's shift plus X. Okay, sure. So with this, you're not going to include the Z as the Z is constant. So then you press equal to. This is going to give you the X and Y coordinate. Then Z is constant. So we have our X to be 3.4, approximately 3.5. And the Z is 2. Uh, sorry, the Y is 2. So this, we have the X coordinate being 3.5 and the Y coordinate being 2. And the Z coordinates, you know, it is constant, so it will be 3. Very simple as that. Let's try another one and see. So let's go to Shift plus Rec. Rec. Then you are going to include, that is, you are using, let's choose D. That is 7. Then Shift plus X, comma. Then 180. Then you close the bracket. Then you press this. So it's going to give you that X is negative 7 and Y is 0. Then your Z becomes negative 9. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is just a short video for you to learn this. Kindly subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.